anybody's life in North America. Like if you're in North America, you first of all, you hit the fucking lottery. Right. Or if you're in the United States, oh shit, you right. don't even have to get vaccinated. <laughs> like if you're in Canada, Canada used to be an awesome spot to live until the lockdowns. Then it was like, what is happening up there? Yeah, what, what is happening is up there? What's going on? It's like the of all the places you would expect to have some like encroaching fascism happening never never canada never, never canada. my list of it's very odd and like they're doing it under the guise of social justice and so creepy but that, that is that is how you do that like if you want to do fascism yeah. that's how you do it like you don't do fascism by saying like hey right. i'm gonna control the shit out of you motherfuckers you do it by saying hey you better watch out because this thing is coming and I'm the only one who can keep you from that thing coming. Fill in whatever that thing is. Bro, when they lock people out of their bank accounts for protesting, when they had the Freedom Convoy, they lock people out of their bank accounts. Dude. They lock people out of their bank accounts that donated. Not even that went there, that donated. Fuck. You can't agree with them. You can't agree with them. We're going to take your money. So spooky. That's crazy. So spooky. That's so scary because it sends ripples of fear through everybody. And it should. It should. Just because you think you're doing it for the right reasons, that is, there's a reason why we are so protective of the Bill of Rights. We're so protective of the Constitution. If you don't have something like that where it's written down, they just keep pushing the rules. Yes. They keep changing. They're, they're making all these crazy new woke rules in Canada. And you can't say shit about it. There's censorship of everything on the internet that they don't like. They can pull things down. They can yeah. do all kinds of wild shit. I don't know about the internet. What, what is it? Is, I know it's about broadcasting. I know there's like they've, they've passed some new censorship legislation. I don't think it's the internet. I'm exaggerating. But what it is is spooky because that guy is like not being honest about what he did during COVID. He's saying they never forced anybody to get vaccinated. They fucking kind of did. You ruined their life if they didn't. Censorship bill. The bill makes changes to Canada's Broadcasting Act. The legislation requires streaming services such as Netflix and Spotify to pay to support Canadian media content like music and TV shows. Hmm. It also requires the platform promote Canadian content. Now that is that it? It doesn't seem to. It says regulate, though. Like, what else is in the regulate? You could say that's the good positive spin on it. It's a nationalistic effort. Yeah. They want to promote more Canadian content. It's still weird. Uh, but I know they've had that in the past. You know, they had that for like radio and for television. They had rules up there. I remember that because uh, somebody I knew was a, uh, a DJ up there. The bill makes changes to Canada's Broadcasting Act. The legislation requires streaming services such as Netflix and Spotify to pay to Spotify. It also requires platforms to promote Canadian content. Specifically, the bill says online undertakings shall clearly promote and recommend Canadian programming in both official languages as well as indigenous languages. The changes give the Canadian Radio, Television and Telecommunications Commission Canada's broadcast regulator broad powers over digital media Yikes. companies, including the ability to impose financial penalties for violations of the act. The government says the legislation is necessary to impose the same regulations and requirements in place for traditional broadcasters on online media platforms. Right now, broadcasters are required to spend at least 30% of their revenue on supporting Canadian content. Jesus. Online streaming has changed how we create, discover, and consume our culture, and it's time we updated our system to reflect that, a government news release on the bill says. That's not good. None of that is good. That, because them saying, are we, are, we, are we or are we not moving to a global entertainment world for the English language? Because it seems like it's kind of moving in that direction, right? I mean, some of the best podcasts in the world, like Trigonometry comes out of the UK, there's a lot of stuff out of America that's very popular over there. Yeah. Like, who gives a shit if it's Canadian or if it's American? Like, well, and you're going to regulate well, no, the think, internet. But the, to me, the, the, uh, the real creepy thing is the state right. is saying what Canadian culture is. Right. Like, culture, isn't it supposed to be something that kind of spontaneously emerges from groups of people? But they're not exactly saying that. They're saying you have to say that you could look at it in an altruistic way. You could say there's this is a promoting Canadian content and it'll encourage more art to be created in Canada because there's more opportunities. Sure. That's fine. But you can't reg regulate that. You can't legislate that because you can't yeah. give those fuckheads power over creativity. You all just right. can't do it. You can't do it. You shouldn't. You'll ruin it all. You'll ruin the internet. You'll ruin it all.
The bill's journey through Parliament has been difficult. Rodriguez uh, tabled the legislation in the House of Commons in February 2022. Nearly a year later, the Senate sent C-11 back to the House Commons with amendments. The House accepted most of the amendments but rejected others. So is it passed or not passed? One of the most contentious points of debate is whether C-11 would apply to user-generated content, such as podcasts and online videos. The government has insisted that the legislation is not intended to regulate independent content creators. Fuck. Not intended is a rough Not intended is not a good way. I don't like, the, it's not intended, but it could be used in that way. Right. They'll just, they're just going to have more power to tell you what to do. And if you are a Canadian person who is broadcasting a podcast out of uh, Vancouver and you have a narrative that doesn't fit with what Trudeau wants you to say, yeah. you could run into trouble. You dude, could run into trouble. You, you, you can't have fucked. them have any power over the internet. No. you got to say no. Dude, this but is, it seems like they passed it. The, I'm checking. Here, here, here's the thing. Yeah. I don't know. If if like if you subscribe to whatever the particular modality of your government is in regards to censorship, controlling art, controlling public dialogue, right? Yeah. You think this is what you think. You think, well, they have to because I'm in danger of this or that. Whatever. Maybe Not only that, they're good. They're good. So Trudeau's online censorship law Bill C eleven passes Parliament. <sighs> But dude, the problem is, the Man, problem is, fucking Canada. You you are thinking your government is going to stay controlled by the people whose more yes. ethics you you believe in. But you look historically at the world, coups happen. Oh yeah, secret coups happen, and then all of a sudden, all these rights you gave away, yeah, you've given them to the people who you are fighting against. Bad guys. Dude, that's the problem. It doesn't, yeah. governments don't last long enough to like let them have that much power. A previous Senate amendment to exempt user generated content from the bill was rejected by senators on Wednesday evening. God damn. So that means user generated content, like podcasts, yeah. are now under the grip of the Canadian the government. State. They got Congratulations. you. Congratulations. That's so scary, man. It's so dumb because it's an incremental push. Jordan Peterson's talked about this. This is how it works. They push you a little bit, you don't resist. They push you a little bit more, you don't resist. Yeah. They push you a little bit more, you don't resist. And then you realize how far you've gone from the initial point. And that's what's happening. Yeah, and man. that's what just happened in Canada. Yeah, just a very slow trajectory don't, towards state yeah, control. It's the fucking internet. You can't, like, say that someone has to have 30% Canadian content on the internet. That's bonkers.